you know, if I were able to ask you the questions that are being asked out there, mm -hmm. uh, one of the most important as you come down to perhaps your final hours, are you thinking about all those victims out there and their families? Well, who are so wounded, you know, years later, their lives have not returned to normal. They will never return to normal. Absolutely. Are, are you carrying that load, that weight? Is the remorse there? Again, I, I know that people will accuse me of being self-serving, but we're beyond that now. I mean, I'm just telling you how I feel. But through God's help, I have been able to come to the point where I... Much too late, but better late than never, feel the hurt and the pain that I am responsible for. Yes, absolutely. In the past few days, myself and a number of investigators have been talking about unsolved cases, murders that I was involved in. And it's hard to, it's hard to talk about all these years later because it revives in me all those terrible feelings and those thoughts that I have steadfastly and, 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 and uh, diligently dealt with, and I think successfully, with the love of God. And yet it's reopened that and I felt the pain and I felt the horror again of all that. And I can only hope that those who I've harmed, those who I've caused so much grief, even if they don't believe my expression of sorrow and remorse will believe what I'm saying now that there is loose in their towns and their communities people like me today whose dangerous impulses are being fueled day in and day out by violence in the media in its various forms, particularly sexualized violence. And what scares me, and let's come into the present now, because what I'm talking about happened 30, 20, 30 years ago, that is, in my formative stages. And what scares and appalls me, Dr. Dobson, is when I see what's on cable TV, <laughs> some of the movies, I mean, some of the violence in the movies uh, that come into homes today, with stuff that they, that they wouldn't show in yeah. X-rated adult theaters 30 years ago. This stuff... The slasher is, movies that you're talking about. That stuff <clears throat> is, I'm telling you, from personal experience, the most, that is graphic violence mm -hmm. on screen. Particularly as it gets into the home yeah. to children who may be unattended or, or unaware that they may be a Ted Bundy who has that, that vulnerability to that, that predisposition to be influenced by that kind of behavior, by that kind of, of, of movie, that kind of violence. I'm no social scientist and I haven't done a survey. I mean, I, I don't pretend that I know what John Q. Citizen thinks about this. <clears throat> but I've lived in prison for a long time now. And I've met a lot of men who were motivated to commit violence just like me. And without exception, Every one of them was deeply involved in pornography, without question, without exception, deeply influenced and consumed by an addiction to pornography. There's no question about it. The FBI's own study on serial homicide shows that the most common interest among serial killers is pornography. Those of us who are, who have been so much influenced by violence in the media, in particular pornographic violence, are not some kinds of inherent monsters. We are your sons and we are your husbands. And we grew up in regular families. And pornography can reach out and snatch a kid out of any house today. He, he snatched me out of my home. They snatched me out of my home 20, 30 years ago. And, and as diligent as my parents were, And they were diligent in protecting their children. And as good a Christian home as we had, and we had a wonderful Christian home, uh, there is no protection against the, kind that, the kinds of influences that are loose in the society that, that, that 
tolerates. 